So, ma'am, all over to you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, guys? Okay. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Hi. So, um, welcome once again to today's demo, you know, class. All right. My name is Sushma. And I've been a, an English mentor at Olympia Success for more than a year. And um, the classes that we're going to have is going to be very fun and interactive. All right. And even though you guys are all muted, when we have the regular, regular classes, you guys will be unmuted. And then we will be having you know, a lot of interaction. I will be asking you questions. You guys will be answering my questions. OK. But for today, we're going to answer everything in the chat. OK, guys. Now. You know, English is a very important subject, right? You need to understand English very well so that you can do other subjects well, you know, very good as well. So let's give more important, you know, a, a, like let's consider English a very important subject as well. And um, what I would say is that when we have our classes, we will also be looking at past year questions and we will also be discussing them together. All right. So thank you once again, guys. And over to you. Miss uh, okay. Dr. Monica, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you yeah. so much, Sushma, ma'am. So that was a short introduction from Sushma, ma'am's side. And now I would request Rajan, sir, to give you a brief uh, PPT and then a virtual tour of the Olympiad Success Platform. All over to you, Rajan, sir. Sure, ma'am. So, students, I'm also sharing some links in the chat box. So now we are live on Facebook. In the case, if you're not able to like connect on Zoom due to any technical glitch, you can also watch the demo on Facebook Live, okay? So in the links, there's the first link for the syllabus, okay? You can check the syllabus of this course. Then there is a link payment link, then feedback form. Then there is a link for all batches, okay? So if you want to check for any other batch, you can use that link. Then there is a Facebook link, and then there is a YouTube channel link. So there are many free sessions are available. You can also subscribe on youtube channel of olympia and success okay so let me share my screen and brief you about this course so i think my screen is visible to you yeah so students welcome to the demo of grade three for english let me tell you about us about olympia success so olympia success is india's largest online education platform for olympia exam and we have olympia live classes and this is our third year in live classes Students, we also have School Plus program. So in School Plus program, we offer eight courses that are Mathematics, English, Science, Logical Reasoning, Communication, Communication, Spoken Word, and both Vedic Maths, as well as Coding. What else? We also offer online CBC Plus Olympiad classes for grade 6 to 10, and one-on-one -on -one preparation classes for International Mathematics Olympiad, like SESMO, CMO, HKIMO, TIMO, Math Count, US Math Competition, Math Kangaroo, PRMO, and also JME preparation classes. Now make the rank holder for session 21-22. So many students in Olympiad Success got international rank one. Okay. Now students about this course. So there will be around 20 students in the class and the classes will be conducted on Zoom platform only. So there will be three sessions per week. The days will be Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. And the class timing will be Monday, uh, 5 p.m. to 6.15. Okay. And uh, the class duration will be 75 minutes. Okay. So the session include mix of theory, practice question, doubt session. And we will also discuss previous year paper. And students, you will also get reading material and practice question, which is available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success. And with this course, students, you will also get a topic-wise mock test that is available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success for English as well as for logical reasoning. Okay. Now, the syllabus link I have already shared with the chat box. I will share again. The fees for this course is 6,800 and there will be 32 sessions in this course. The payment link I will share in the chat box. The fees include online classes, daily reading notes and exercises, practice of previous year paper. And like I said, you will get access to the Olympiad Success Platform for English as well as for logical reasoning, topic wise mock test. Okay, students. Now, to join this course, what you need? You need a laptop with good internet speed. And students, as you know, like preparation for Olympiad exam is tougher than regular school curriculum because there will be some topics from your upper grades also. So students will be required to spend up talks to us every day to cope up with the curriculum. And parent support will be needed to check answers and to create concepts. So the live classes for this course students will start from 10th of August 
and currently we having students from 3800 school and we are catering in 35 plus countries so this is about this course students now i will give you a tour of olympiad success dashboard okay platform after that if you have any query any doubt we will take that okay let me share my screen again with you So I'm just showing you uh, how you can access the content. Okay. So uh, like once you register for this course, uh, we will share the credentials with you. You can log in with that. Let me show you how it looks like. So in the live classes, you will find all the content. So from here, you can select your subject that is English Olympiad. So students, like I said, uh, there will be a practice test and also reading material. So you can select the topic from here. So for each and every topic, you will find reading material and practice questions, okay? And answer keys are also available here. Let me show you the reading material. So this is the reading material, okay? So what you can do like after each and every class for the revision, you can go through the reading material and you can practice question here. You can also check the schedule here. Okay, schedule is also available uh, on the dashboard. So like for each and every session, uh, there will be a topic that is mentioned here. And after each and every topic, there will be a test. Okay. And in the end, uh, we have super classes. In super classes, we will discuss previous year paper. Okay, students. Now besides reading material and practice questions, we also have worksheets. So you can select your topic here, the subject and you can access the worksheet. Like I said, uh, with this course, you can access the worksheet for English as well as for logical reasoning, okay? So topic-wise worksheets are available here. You can attempt each and every worksheet three times and in the performance tab, you can check your results anytime. Okay, students? So this is about the Olympiad Success Dashboard. Now, if anyone have any question, any doubt, you can ask. Yes, Mahir, uh, you have raised your hand. Sir, I have a YouTube channel. Okay, good. Do anyone have any doubt related to the course or dashboard? Please feel free to ask. In case you have any query, you can type in the chat section. We'll be happy to answer your questions. Okay, everything is clear to everyone. No one have any doubt. Palak has joined later on. She doesn't have any query. So, so can you repeat the thing? Can you repeat the thing? No. Uh, so what you can do, Palak, uh, the demo is on Facebook Live also. Okay, I've shared the link. So you can watch that there. Okay. So any other any other questions, students? Swedha, Nikonj, any doubt? No doubts, no queries. So there are two cases. First case is everything is clear. And second is nothing is clear. Okay, let me ask, let me ask some questions to you. So students, can you tell me like, what are the days on which we are having the classes? You can write in the chat box. Let's see, who remember. Thirty. I have asked about the days. The Day days on which having the classes. Monday, Thursday, Friday. Any other answer? On Monday, Thursday, Friday. They are said Monday. Not only Monday we have the class. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is also wrong. Yes, Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, Rinvi, that is correct. Wednesday, Thursday. No, the days of the classes uh, are Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay. When did you start the demo? Yeah, we are going to start. Uh, so one, one more question, students. What are the timings for the classes? You can write in the chat box.
five to six fifteen. Yes, the class is starting is five to six fifteen p.m. Okay, okay. So, do anyone have any other question, or shall we start with the demo then? No question. Okay. All right then. If you have no further queries, then uh, we would like to request uh, Sushma ma'am to give you a demo. Yeah, Palak, yes, you can write in the chat box if you have any query. What's your doubt, Palak? Sir said many things. So which thing you are referring to? Okay, Palak, let me unmute you. You can speak. Yes, you can speak. Yes, Palak. Sir, I don't know. You have repaired, uh, said something at five, how to open PDF. I don't know. Can you repeat it? How to open PDF. Okay. So what you can do, Palak, uh, you can watch the demo again on Facebook. Okay. There you can check, like, uh, I have just shared uh, what you can get, like, when you register for this course, how you can check the reading material and practice question that you can uh, check on Facebook Live. Okay. Okay, so I think, uh, Shishma, we are ready to begin. We can start with the session. So over to you. Okay. All right. So hi again, everybody. Um, today, I'm going to be your mentor. And today, we're going to do a very interesting topic. Okay, it's a very easy topic and also a very fun topic. Can I have any guesses? What topic do you think we're going to do today? Can you put it in the chat, guys? Okay, come on. What topic do you think we're going to learn today? Okay, um, Sweda said noun. And then Dia, yes, it's going to be English, but what topic? You know, what lesson are we going to learn? Okay, uh, Nihal said verbs. Mm, no, it's not noun, it's not verbs. Can I, can I have any other guesses? Come on, quickly in the chat. I only see Sweda, Dia, and then Sriyashri, Nihal, then Palak, pronoun. No, I still don't have it. All right. Can I have one more guess? And then we're going to start. All right. Oh, so Sweda said subject and predicate. No, unfortunately. Um, okay, so many of you are giving me answers like nouns and pronouns and verbs. But today we are going to um, do the topic adjectives. Okay, we're going to do adjectives today. So I am going to start sharing my screen. And then um, first, I will just give you a brief definition about it. And then we will start the interaction. All right. And for today, as we are not going to unmute you, all the answers are going to be in the chat. Okay. When I ask you a question, please put them in the chat. All right. Okay. So can you guys please give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen? Adjectives. All right. Okay. Okay. So when we say adjectives, what do we mean? What does it mean? It means that, you know, it means a word that describes a noun, you know? And many of you have mentioned noun in the chat, right? I think everybody knows what a noun is. Can all of you, please keep it in the chat. Give me an answer in the chat. What is a noun? Just a simple answer. What is noun? Come on. Not the full answer, but, you know, just simple answer of what is noun. Come on. Come on. What is noun? I'm asking what is noun, okay? 
and if you can give me examples that is also fine okay so can anybody give me okay shriya shri noun is a naming word sweda naming word very good and then neha said person very good very good and then shrijan da said a noun is a naming word palak yes you have different kinds of nouns like proper noun common noun like palak has said and dia gave an example of bird all right very good so i will you know take it that everybody here knows what nouns are right nouns are naming words that means it can be a name of a person place animal or thing my name sushma it's a noun and then your name dia is also a noun shriya shri is a noun and then the laptop that you have in front of you that's a noun right but when we say adjectives we are going to describe a noun okay we are going to say something more about the noun all right so let's begin okay now can you see types of adjectives please tell me if the screen is changed and a thumbs up dia okay all right so when we talk about adjectives we also have different types of adjectives okay now first let's be clear again what when we say adjectives what does it mean a word that describes a noun right this is the most simplest definition ever okay the simplest definition of adjective now adjectives qualify that is tell us something more about nouns only so they qualify what does qualify mean that means they tell us something more about nouns so let's look at the examples given here look at this the sentence the fat cat sat on a mat here what is the noun here we can see two nouns here okay we see cat we see mat okay cat animal mat the thing on which we sit but when we say fat cat look at this what kind of cat are we talking about we are talking about fat cat not a thin cat not a black cat but a fat cat right so we are describing the noun cat so fat is an adjective okay now the second sentence look at this ram has acted in many plays okay plays means like dramas you know on stage that people act so here how many plays many plays okay he has acted in not one or not two not three but in many plays okay many then the next sentence this poem was written by john so poem when we say poem we learn it in english right different kind of poems now here but what kind of poem this poem we're pointing to a particular poem okay we're pointing to a special or specific poem and this was written by this person named john okay so these words given in blue like fat many this are all words that describe the nouns so they are called adjectives okay these are called adjectives so can you guys give me in the chat can you give me examples of any adjective that you know come on you can give me one example two example any example i want to see it can be you know i want it to be different from the examples here okay dia said cute okay srijan big and shri shri also said cute you can give me different uh, you know kinds of examples okay come on okay neha said funny yeah we can say he's a funny guy and then this is a this is an ugly bag he is a handsome man okay very good and then ranveer said difficult red tan and then okay weird angry srijan said good and then okay okay good 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 everybody is giving me correct examples all right all right so you know examples of adjectives now right now let's look at the types of adjectives okay now when we say types of adjectives we have first adjectives of quality we call it qualitative adjectives then the next one is adjectives of quantity or we call it quantitative adjectives then the third demonstrative adjectives then adjectives of number interrogative adjectives possessive adjectives so today we are going to learn about six types of adjectives okay six types of adjectives now we are going to look at them one by one okay now look at this the first one adjectives of quality now when we say adjectives of quality it tells us what kind a thing or person is what 
of what kind a thing or person is. So example, a red car, a happy boy, a tall man. Now, when we look at all of these examples to find out what adjectives or qualities you know, are, you will ask the question, what kind of person or thing? What kind of person or what kind of thing? So look at the first example. If I say, what kind of car? Can you guys give me the answer in the chat? Come on, look at the example and tell me what kind of car? Okay, Srijan said red. And then uh, Sweda said red, Nihal Kond said red, Dia and then Sriya Sri, everybody said red, a red car. Yes, yes. And then um, Shima, red, Nihal, red. Okay, good, good. I want everybody to participate, okay? I want everybody to give me answers, all right? Okay, red. Okay, so good, very good. So if you ask the question, what kind of, then the answer red is adjectives of quality. Okay, so same for the second example, a happy boy. If you say, what kind of boy? So if you ask the question, what kind of boy? Answer is, yes, Srijan said happy. And then Sweda said happy. And Shriya Sri happy, Om Kumar happy. Okay. Dia again say happy, Nihal Konda happy. Yes, very good. Shima, all right. Okay, okay, good. So you ask the question simply, what kind of, right? And then even for the third one, okay? A tall man, what kind of man? Tall man, right? So these adjectives are called adjectives of quality, okay? All right, now the next adjective that we are going to do is adjectives of quantity. Now, when we say quantity, we are going to, you know, talk about adjectives which tell us how much of something is meant. How much? Now, the question is going to be how much? All right. Now, example, look at this. There is sufficient food for all of us. Sufficient food. So, when we say how much food is there? Sufficient. Sufficient meaning enough food is there for all of us. Okay, then uh, when we say there was no milk in the jar, again, you ask the question, how much? How much milk was there? In this case, how much milk? No, no milk. There was no milk at all, right? That is also, you know, adjectives of quantity, all right? So for adjectives of quantity, you have to ask the question, how much, okay? How much? Now look at this, these adjectives, any, some, many, no, sufficient, do not mention any definite num number. They just mention quantity. Now, when we talk about all of these uh, words, or these adjectives, they do not mention how you know, many exactly is there. Like, is there five or are there uh, you know, 10 people? Are there you know, 50? We don't know any. Uh, you know, we don't know exactly what the number is, but we just know the quantity. We just know overall how much uh, you know there is. Okay, now moving on to the next adjective, which is demonstrative adjective. Okay, now when we say demonstrative adjective, such adjectives which are used to point out or draw your attention to certain person or thing are called demonstrative adjectives. Now for demonstrative adjective, we have four words which will help you to identify easily. So these words are this, that, these, and those, okay? So easily you can identify or you can know that these words are demonstrative. So these four words, keep in mind, this, that, these, and those, okay? Now look at this. This park has a beautiful fountain. This, you're, you're pointing out, even though you don't actually point out with your finger, but you are, you know, uh, talking about a particular park. You are talking about a specific park, which you and maybe your friend, family, you know, somebody else also know. Then again, these girls are my classmates. See, you're pointing or maybe showing that these girls are my classmates. Another one, those students are waiting to see you, those, you know. And then the last one, that white building is the temple. So all these four words, this, these, those, and that are called demonstrative adjectives, okay? Now, the next adjective 
is easy okay this is adjectives of number so just look at the name of the type okay number so definitely we are going to talk about numbers okay easy to identify these kind of adjectives easy to know what adjective it is look at this example how uh, sorry ram is 10 years old so in this kind of adjective you have to ask the question how many or if you say how old is ram what is you know how how many years you know when we talk about ram's age we say 10 right he is 10 years old then if you look at the next example the last example here i had six cookies yesterday how many cookies tell me how many cookies in the chat come on okay shrijan six dia six shriya shri six and then shima six weda six palak six mahir six and then nihal konda six om kumar six okay good good so Easily, you can know that when we say adjectives of number, it will always talk about number of nouns. Okay, cookies, how many? Six. And then how old is Ram? How many years? Ten years. Okay, and even this second example, the first match will be played tomorrow. What, which match or, you know, how many match? The first one, the first is going to be played tomorrow. The first, okay, it's describing the match. Okay, now, the next one is interrogative adjectives. When we say interrogative, okay, I think most of you might have heard the word interrogative before, or even if you are hearing it for the first time today, you know, you should know this from now on that when you say interrogative, it's always about asking question. All right. So an adjective that, ad that asks a question about a noun is called an interrogative adjective. Okay, now look at this. In this category, be on the lookout for these words. Now look at this. You are going to, uh, you know, uh, have the word what, which, whose. Okay, what, which, whose. So example, look at this. Whose diary is this? We are also asking a question and we are also describing diary. Okay, whose diary is this? Which hill station have you visited? What time are you leaving? So what are the adjectives of Interrogative adjectives here. Okay, Palak says, my class teacher told me. Very good. Yeah, you have, you must have learned, you know, some of you must have learned in school, right? In your classes, all right. So what are the um, interrogative adjectives here in the examples? Can you please list them out in the chat for me? What are the interrogative adjectives? Come on. Everybody, interrogative adjectives. What are the words? Put commas and write them down. Which, Sweda said which, whose, Okay, um, Shreya Shri, it's not who. Okay, Shreya Shri, it's not who. Who is not a, a, an interrogative adjective. And uh, Nihal said what, who's, and uh, yeah, who. And Arnik said who's, which, and what. And then Dia said which, who's, what. And okay, Nihal also said what, who's, and which. Oh, Shri Ashri, why is not included? Again, see, this is where the confusion is. There is no who. There is no why. We have three words here. What, which, and whose. Okay? Please remember that. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, we come to the last kind of adjective or the type of adjective, which is possessive adjectives. Okay? Now, when we say possessive adjective, possessive, it means, you know, Something that belongs to someone. We are going to talk about something that belongs to someone. It can be my, uh, you know, it can be mine. It can be something that belongs to me. It can be something that belongs to my friend, my parents. Like it, we are going to talk about possession. Okay, possession or possessive adjective. That means belongings. Now look at these words again here. My, his, her, are, their, your. These are all examples of possessive adjectives, okay? Now, look at the example. My sister lives in Bhopal. So, when you say my sister, whose sister? My sister. My, okay? It belongs, my, you know, that sister that we're talking about, it belongs to me, my sister. And then the second one, if you exercise, then your health will improve. Whose health are we talking about? Whose health? Your health. Okay, your health. Now, okay. 
can you guys give me in the chat examples of possessive um, adjective but then give me something like this like the answer should be my sister you know then the uh, the example that you give me should be your back something like that but then use the words here given here like my his her are there your and give it as an example of possessive adjective okay don't list them out only use it with a noun use it with a noun okay let's see come on okay so palak said his friend okay palak let me remind you the spelling of friend okay your example is correct but then friend should be f r i e n d friend okay and then vanveer said my back is torn okay good my back and then arnik said my hair okay so arnik when you say my hair you have to say my hair is black okay we take hair as a single thing even though you have many on your head i know but you cannot say my hair are black okay my hair is black okay sweda my name is sweda <laughs> good example and then niha said my laptop dia said my phone trijan big house is not an example of possessive adjective big house is not big is qualitative adjective we're talking about what kind of house sweda its name is bob it my mood is bad <laughs> what happened mahir <laughs> and then if you say mood it's supposed to be m o o d mood nehal his friend my friend now by the way everybody is giving me examples of my 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 uh, i see only a few of you giving examples like its and his and are but most of you gave examples of my there are other words like his her are their your okay don't forget example we can say her her dress we can say his car we can say and then palak said our team very good sweda said his cycle arnik i go to the park daily what is the possessive adjective there there is no possessive adjective in your example okay arnik again look at these words here it, it these are the possessive adjectives and then who else okay shima said their school and then niha said his book our uh, shriya shri our group is going for a picnic and then ranveer their chart paper was very small and then sweda your book is there oh your book is there it should be t h e r e sweda if you're talking about there as a place it should be t h e r e okay okay i think all right all right i will take it that everybody understand um Oh, what is your name mahir said very good very good the example is good and mahir put a question mark at the end okay all right possessive adjectives now we have learned six types of adjectives right we've learned six types of adjectives we are now going to start solving the question but before we do this i want to see if everybody remembers the types of adjectives can you guys quickly write down the names of the adjectives one by one if you want to write it all together that is also fine or the adjectives that you remember write it down the name of the adjectives the type of the adjectives first what is the type of adjective that we did okay dia very good the the first type everybody write down the first type of adjective that we did come on um niha i uh, see i don't want you to give me examples okay i want to know the type the name of the type so sweda also said qualitative shreya shri said qualitative very good very good the first type of adjective okay shima also said qualitative the first type of adjective that we did is qualitative adjective or we call it adjectives of quality okay the second type what is the second type come on what is the second type it is quantitative the spelling quantitative q u a n okay quantitative all right the third one what is it and i think um okay ranveer has uh, mentioned a lot of eight types here okay so qualitative quantitative demonstrative very good demonstrative and then what else interrogative okay very good sweda but then it shouldn't be double n okay sweda it's just i n okay not i double n okay and then arnik said possessive very good shri ashri also said possessive 
Um, okay, demonstrative, right. So I'm just going to count down for you, okay? First one is qualitative adjective or adjectives of quality. The second one is quantitative adjective or adjectives of quantity. The third one is adjectives of number. Okay, Sweda has mentioned it right now. Very good. Adjectives of number. Then we have demonstrative adjectives, interrogative adjectives, which are for asking questions. The last one is possessive adjectives to show it belongs to someone. Quality means to ask the question, what kind of, like big, small, fat, thin, beautiful, handsome, ugly, those are qualitative adjectives, okay? Then when we say quantitative, many, okay? And then enough, no, these are quantitative. But then when we say numbers, 10 books, five friends, you know, uh, 20 apples, these are adjectives of number. But when we say demonstrative, this, that, these, those, this and that is used for singular. Okay, guys, let me tell you. This and that, we use it for singular. Only one number. Like this girl. But if we say these, T-H-E-S-E, -E, it is plural. Okay? And the last one is possessive. My, his, her, ours, all those. Okay? All right. So we are going to start with the question. Look at this. There are some questions given here, guys. What we're going to do is I want everybody to write down the answers for the first one. So I think everybody started by saying lovely, right? The, the answer was lovely from here. Okay. And some of you have started. No, no, no. Don't write it in the um, notebook. Okay, Ranveer. Just write it in the chat. Because for now, since this is just demo, you know, the first uh, interaction, you will just write it here on the chat. In the chat. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. The next one, the, uh, the second question, the children clapped when they saw the magician's clever tricks. So the children clapped when they saw the magician's clever tricks. So the answer is clever. Very good, very good, very good. And also make sure you have correct spellings. Okay, guys, choosing the right answer is also important, but Spellings, make sure your spellings are correct. Okay, the third one. The zebra is a striped animal. The zebra is a striped animal. So what is it? Striped, very good, striped. Meaning that black and white, black and white. There are stripes, okay? All right, the, the fourth one. My sister writes funny stories. My sister writes funny stories. Okay, Nihal funny, Srijan funny, Dia funny, and Palak Singh funny, Arnik funny, Ranveer funny. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, the last question. David could not carry the book box up on the steep staircase okay Srijan said steep Nihal said steep and Arnik also said steep um, Arya said uh, steep okay it's not step guys Shriya Shri steep Arya again okay steep and then Dia steep okay now I hope everybody understands what you know adjectives are right Everybody understand adjectives? Hand, thumbs up. Okay. I'm asking always for thumbs up because you're, not, you're, unmute, you're muted. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now we move on to the next set of questions. All right. So, sorry. Okay, this one. Come on. Let's see uh, if you can find the appropriate adjectives. The adjectives which you can fit here. The adjectives you think is right, is correct. Okay, the correct adjectives. Question one, come on. Question one, Shima answered, and then Arnik answered, Dia answered, Arya answered. Okay, I'm reading everybody's answers, okay? So come on, Mahir, um, okay, answered. Everybody's saying old, very good. Shriya, she also said old. 
All right, very good. So an old man. Okay, question two. Come on, question two. The dash son. Okay. Um, Dia said bright. Okay, Sweda bright. And Srijan also said bright. Palak bright. Arnik bright. Okay, everybody is giving me and the, the correct answer. Bright, the bright sun. All right. The third one, a dash house. What kind of house? What kind of house? Okay, Nihal said big house. Dia also said big. Sweda, are you <laughs> answering for question four? Because I'm reading it as question three, a ripe, a ripe house. Okay, she meant it for question four, I guess. Okay, so a big house, right? A big house, a big house. Okay, question four. Banana, dash banana. What kind of banana? Ripe banana. Okay, Arnik, Srijan, and then Palak, and then Dia, Shima, Nihal. Okay, very good. All right, all right. So the correct answer is ripe banana. The last one, a dash cat, cute cat. Okay, Srijan, Arnik, okay, Sweda, Mahir, Dia. All right, everybody is giving me the correct answer. So the questions are done. Everybody got the answers right, okay? Just make sure your spellings are right. All right, guys? Okay, now the last topic for adjectives, okay? It is degrees of comparison. Degrees of comparison. Now, when we say comparison, we mean to compare. If we say that a person is taller than the other person, if we say um, Lily is taller than uh, Raja, then taller, we're comparing how you know tall they are, okay? So we have different levels of comparing. So first, we are going to, uh, you know, I will tell you what degrees of comparison are. When we use adjectives for the purpose of comparison, to compare things, it is said that we are using degrees of comparison. The word degrees are used in three steps. The first step is called positive degree. When we simply talk about the quality of one person or thing, that means when we are not comparing, but we're just talking about a person or a thing. Like if we say, um, okay, Jack is a clever boy. Jack is a clever boy. We're just talking about how Jack is or what you know quality he has. We're just saying that he is clever, right? He is a clever boy. So that is called positive degree. Okay, positive degree. So we can say that um, Lily is a pretty girl. We can say that this cat, if this is a fat cat. We can say this is a big building. So we're not comparing. We're just talking about one thing or one person. Then it is called positive degree, okay? Now, the second step is called comparative degree. This is where we start comparing. If we compare two person or if we compare two things, we call it comparative, okay? So when we say cleverer, look at this. Let's compare two things or two person, Lily and Jack. Lily is cleverer than Jack. That means who is clever? Who is more clever? If I say Lily, is cleverer than Jack. Can you guys tell me in the chat who is clever? Who is more clever? Lily or Jack? Mm, Dia, very good. So in that example, Shima also said Lily, very good. So if we compare two people like Lily and Jack, how I did, Lily is cleverer than Jack. So that means Lily is more clever. Okay, more clever. So we use the word cleverer, all right? Now the third step, we call it superlative. When we say superlative, we compare one person or thing with more than two person. For the comparative, we have only two people or uh, two things, but two person or two things. But then when we talk about superlative, we will talk about more than two people. So let's say that in the class, there are maybe 50 students, there are maybe 20 students, 30 students, if there is one person who is the best out of them, the word best, it is also superlative. And if we say Lily is the cleverest girl in the class, or if we say Lily is the cleverest student in the class, we are saying that Lily is the uh, you know, most clever person, right? Who is more clever? Who is the most clever person? It is Lily, right? So we have three degrees of comparison, all right? First one, again, I said, you know, 
Okay, uh, okay. Pay attention, all right? So the first is positive degree, no comparison. We're talking about only one person or one thing. Clever, beautiful, pretty, tall, short. We're just using like this. But then when we say the comparative degree, which is the second step, second step, we compare two person or two things. So if we say cleverer, prettier, taller, shorter, larger, bigger, smaller, these are all comparative degree to compare two things or two person, okay? Then the third step is the superlative degree. We are comparing among many people, more than two. You know, if we are comparing more than two, we will use superlative. So we will use the words like cleverest, prettiest, biggest, smallest, tallest, shortest. Okay, these are all examples of superlative degree. All right, guys. So look at these. I have also examples like good, better, best, bad, worse, worst, happy, happier, happiest. So this is a chart or example of positive and comparative, you know, uh, superlatives, okay? But then there are many ways in order to turn positive into comparative and how to change comparative into superlative, there are rules, okay? But then we are going to be uh, learning those rules when we start the uh, regular classes, okay, guys? So can you guys, for the last time, give me the, uh, tell me the answer. How many degrees of comparison do we have? Come on, this will be the last question. Come on, how many degrees of comparison do we have? Or did we study just now? Okay, very good, three, three, three. Okay, three, all right. Can anybody give me the names of those degree of comparison? If it's the first time that you're learning today, maybe you will be confused with the names because it's the first time, right? But if anybody has learned it before maybe, or if you can remember, even if it's not all of them, come on. Okay, Sharia. I think I'm getting the first answer from Sharia today. Positive. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, Sharia. Okay, Shriya. She also said um, positive, positive. Okay, but then for the second one, what is it? Okay, Sweda gave all the answers. Okay, Shrijan as well. Mahir as well. Very good. Okay, very good. So the first degree is? positive degree. The second is called comparative degree, comparing two things or two person. Superlative means comparing more than two. Okay, Shima, Shriya, Shri. Okay. 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 Very good. Okay. Thank you guys so much. This was all about adjectives. But then how to make, you know, how to write it in positive, how to write it in comparative, how to write in superlative, we are going to discuss when we start the regular classes, okay? And even the types of adjectives, we are going to have more questions. And then we will identify, we will try to name what type of adjective it is. We have questions and then I will ask you to tell me what is the adjective. And I will also tell you what type of adjective it is. Okay, so um, thank you so much. And we will continue more, okay? In the next um, class, in the regular classes. Okay, so guys, how was the class? <laughs> I hope everybody enjoyed. Okay, thank you. Over to you, Rajan, sir. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the wonderful session. So, uh, students, I'm sharing some links in the chat box. Okay, what you can do, you can save the links. So this link will help you to join the live classes. Okay, so how was the session? You can write in the chat box. I hope everybody learned something new yeah. today Best is class <laughs> and we can learn more yeah when we do the regular classes okay and unfortunately you know you guys are answering in the chat but as i said when we do the regular classes everybody will raise your hands and then you will be unmuted and given the chance to speak okay guys so don't worry okay thank you students uh, for the wonderful comments okay. now shishma will meet you in the live classes so thank you for joining today so good night everyone we will meet you in the live classes now bye bye everyone bye everybody good night bye bye <laughs>